Hi hey, y'all, it's Stephen Van Camp and Lewis on May 2nd and <clears throat> I, I'm going to do kind of a follow-up video to the last one that I did where I, I talked about orchid roots and, and the reason I want to do the follow-up video is because I actually um, I had a really great comment uh, from someone in, in the previous video saying, hey, you know, that, that Cattleya ludimaniana, you should show us how you're going to repot it and, and I hadn't really thought of that and actually I got quite a few comments on on that particular part of that video so uh, I want to show you how how I'm going to end up doing this so uh, let me turn the camera around and get started all right so quick refresher in case you didn't see the video from last week this is the Cattleya ludimaniana that I'm talking about you can see that it has pretty much walked out of the pot and has a couple of new growths and tons of new root growth right now. So um, this plant is not doing quite as well on the outside of the pot under my conditions as it would on the inside of the pot. So what I need to do is basically break it free, sort of, of this sidewall here um, and then repot it into, into something new. So. I have my my traditional assortment of, of items that I like to use, including a clay pot that now that I look at it is probably too small. So I have to see if I can find something larger uh, and orchid out of bark. Of course, I also love my hideous but effective zip ties to make sure that the plant doesn't move around uh, after I, I, I have it in here. But also, in addition to these typical items, I have, of course, a hammer because I'm going to end up smashing part of this. So the goal here is, is twofold. Actually, but before I jump into that, I'll say I also have a, a pot of water. So what I'm going to do is actually empty this still good Orchiata. And I'm kind of sad that I'm going to throw this away, but since I am starting fresh, uh, I'm going to throw the, that in my compost bin over there and then soak the roots so that those that can come off can and will and those that are hanging out will um, will still be loose. But ba basically if you soak your roots in the water it's, it really helps to, to make them more pliable. Um, these roots will be more bendy uh, and additionally I might be able to peel off some of the roots that are just barely stuck to the pot here. So the real issue that I have now though is, is these roots that are on the outside are probably not gonna survive being put into media. So in the previous video, I had considered actually cutting uh, them maybe about here so that they would start branching again. Cause you can see almost all the root tips are, are just cranking. They're, they're really growing nicely. So the plant is an active root growth. The plant is an active vegetative growth. And it's just a great time to, to cut and do what I need to do. So it really, now the question is, is, is the logistics. Like, how am I going to do this? And I suspect what I'll end up doing is I'm going to hedge my bets a little bit. I'm going to cut these roots so that hopefully they branch. And then I'm going to leave these attached to the pot. Uh, smash the pot where I can. And then just sort of repot the plant as it's attached to this pot uh, or what's left of the pot after I smash it into the new pot which this one is clearly too small as you can see it's gently used but still good um, so let me empty this Orchiata out into the compost I'm gonna soak the whole thing in here and then I will get started all right be right back before I soak it, in case anybody's wondering what this looks like, I'm going to try and angle this into the sun since it's like almost 7 o'clock here. But uh, you can see that the roots that are left in the pot are growing around the outside, and that's, that's typical. Um, when you have orchids, they typically go to the side of the pot first, and they don't really start filling in the middle until they have to, until the roots are sort of spir spiraling around themselves. Um, so it's, it's not surprising. 
So I'm going to get this in the, the pot to soak it and get started. All right, to further complicate this situation, turns out this is the biggest clay pot that I have. So this is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to pop this guy out and see if it'll fit in here. Here are the soaked roots. You can see the old zip tie is here. This is only deep enough to get here, so we can't get most of these, but we'll see what the hammer can do. Let's see. This will be our insurance policy that at least some of the roots do well. And we'll do that by cutting. Oh, look at that, some will actually peel off. Oh, that's nice. So this even further increases our insurance policy that we'll have a whole bunch of whoo, look at that that's a lot of new roots we'll do the same over here and anything that's stuck on We'll just smash the pot and see where we go from there. When you cut good roots, you want to leave, you know, at least this much on so that they actually branch. Here's some more we can cut. Also the old zip tie. Gotta be careful with these new growths. All right, I wanna keep the new growths on top so I don't actually smash them with the hammer. found this video helpful please uh, click this little button down here on the bottom right and uh, don't feel obligated to but if you feel like this was worth a dollar or two please uh, please click that and add a dollar or two um, that will really go a long way to me helping to get a greenhouse right over here as well as head over to Brazil for an orchid trip in 2024 so all of your orchid donations will go to orchid causes uh, for which I can make additional videos. And as always, thank you very much. All right, so if I want to get this in a pot, I'm actually going to have to divide this one. So, what I'm going to do is take this screwdriver, sever this here, smash the pot here, and then keep this division and bring this division to tomorrow's society meeting where coincidentally we're having the auction. We have a plant that we can work with and a plant that someone at my orchid society can enjoy at the auction. 
So now, this is what we're working with. I guess I, before I pot it up too much, I can show you this growth going downwards is definitely problematic. This growth going somewhat downwards is problematic. The plant being attached to a big piece of clay is kind of problematic. It's not that big of a deal. But now I'll probably have to pot it something like this. Of course I have zip ties in my hands. So what I'll do is I will zip tie this plant in place and then I'll start adding Orchiata bark. So at this point it's, it's kind of a, a fairly straightforward repotting exercise with some quirks. So what I like to do is get a zip tie in the bottom like this. This will come over the top, tie it down. I'm actually going to put it like this. So now I need to get some some media in the bottom before I tie it down too much. So the real kicker here really is that that growth growing straight down. If it hadn't come straight down, this would be a, a much easier exercise. And, and to be honest, you know, I had mentioned in the video last week that this is kind of a cautionary tale. You know, if I had done this two years ago, this would be so, so incredibly much easier. But that's what happens when you wait to repot. Weird stuff like this. And of course, even the next time I repot will probably be kind of a wonky, difficult repot as well. But I anticipate having much nicer plants and much nicer blooms, getting this one back in the pot where it belongs, at least under my conditions where the plants do much, much better inside of a pot than outside of a pot. There we go, that feels pretty packed in behind there. I'm comfortable tightening this down. You can see, possibly, that this growth is not going to be cinched here. It, this growth is on top of the zip tie, so as I cinch it down, should be okay. That single growth growing straight down should make a U-turn and come back up. And yes, it will be below the media, but that's okay. I have hot, dry conditions in clay pot with Orchiata bark, so everything dries out pretty quick. And if it ends up not doing well, I can always cut that growth off and it's Ludemaniana, so these things have a very weed-like growth habit and that they grow incredibly quickly. And there we have it. That's, that's the uh, That's the growth in question. So it's right there. It's kind of kind of poking out, not really. We'll see what it does. If it if I had to cut it off later down the road, then so be it. Bye.